Robots, oh, we've, been, uh, we've been trying to convince uh, uh, Craig for uh, a couple of years now um, that uh, Cobots would help us out a lot here in the machine shop, uh, sending videos, YouTube, Instagram, articles, all, all, all that, uh, that media. So we were very excited about hearing that our production people were actually coming up with ideas of automation rather than then management coming up with that. So what I was excited about was implementing something to make sure that we have them being heard on the production floor and trying to make their jobs better. We have a nesting system where we have all the parts nested there in a nice matrix and we're picking these up with the Robotique handies and then placing them into, in our lathe, into the chucking system, or we're doing, um, in the milling systems, we have um, air over hydraulic and air vices that actually hold the parts there. Uh, and then they take the parts out and they place them in a bin as a completed part. Had our first uh, demo of the robot in-house. Uh, the salesperson brought it in and literally within minutes, literally within minutes had the robot fired up making waypoints. There was this book by Sam Bouchard uh, on lean robotics. Um, I wish I would have read it before because I think we would have saved a lot more money uh, in the long run that's our soft cost in designing systems and trying to kind of find the right solution. Um, now it is our Bible in our company. All our systems that we have for lean robotics is based on the Lean Robotics book. And the program was actually starting to get a little cumbersome as we were trying to accomplish all these different tasks and locate on multiple axes. And that's when Brian was able to show us some of the tools with the Force Copilot that really made it a lot faster and easier to install. And with just a line or two of code from Robotik, we were actually able to get the same features with a lot less uh, programming. We have a recurring part that we make for one customer and we do lots of typically between 150 and 500 parts. Uh, for example, a 500 part run previously would take us in the neighborhood of 5.7 days uh, and we would get out roughly 80 parts per day when we were doing manual machine tending. Since we put in the cobots, we were able to cut down our uh, production time to three days. There's more consistency in the loading and the unloading of the parts and the machines and uh, taking out some of the human error. I spent a lot of time uh, trying to hire good, good humans here and it's difficult. I mean, especially now there's, uh, there's not many great candidates out there uh, and uh, the, the robots uh, don't make many mistakes. Uh, running the job with a manual uh, machine tending was four times the cost of the same machine tending with the UR robot. We're installing insights and so we're able to monitor the, uh, the productivity of, the, of each cobot in real time and we're able to have alerts sent to us if a cobot is down for any reason. We get an immediate notification. We're also able to log in remotely if somebody is off-site they can remote in and uh, fix the problem with the, with the robot. We have uh, 14 CNC milling centers and turning centers here. Um, our hope is that within a year that every machine has a cobot applied to their system.